Blessing Spartans and we're back with episode 12 of 4 builds in 4 minutes and today we have the copycat ninja himself, Kakashi. Kakashi is the most remarkable ninja I have ever seen throughout the whole of Naruto verse. Let me break it down to you. So he was the first person, well the only person to become a chunin by the age of 6 years old. On top of that, at the age of 10 he was already chunin. Alongside he already made his own ninjutsu. You guys know what it's called? Lightning Blade in English dub, Raikiri in Japanese, in Master Ted language, Rinnegan. <laughs> they should not have gave the name to their eyes. But still, anyway, yo, this guy is remarkable. So what I've gone and done today, I've gone and paired this up with teleportation jutsu to get a speed and damage boost. Better yet, Spartans, who can tell me the difference between Chidori and Raikiri? And also, who can tell me the English dub version of Chidori? Because that's the Japanese translation. Whoever gets it right gets a shout out in the next video. So the by age of 13, Kakashi was accepted into the Ambu. He was already efficient with all five chakra natures. And he was known as the copycat ninja. So for my Ambu Kakashi build, I'm going to be running Headhunter Jutsu, Subterranean Voyage, alongside with Mud Wall. Now this has great defensive properties to be able to evade and troll but this mud wall recently got buffed and you still can fire fireballs through it. So the weapon I'm going to be using on this build is the Executioner Blade. Now if you don't have this, go for the Longsword. It's got the same animations, you'll be able to get the same stuff out of it. But this is more of a fun build. Use it when you're by yourself, in the pit or even a base battle. But really, don't use it in main games. Your teammates might get mad at you. Unless you actually know how to set up your mud wall, which is stun, then cast. So this one is a bit more of a guess. So we all know that Kakashi had Kamui for a while. But we don't know exactly when he attained this power because we didn't see him go through no training arc. So how early did he get it? And if he could use the first part of Kamui so early, could he use Kamui Bond also and transport through things without DMS? I don't know. But what I've got and done, I've got and paired his Kamui Bond alongside with Water Dragon. Now this gives it Sharon Castable abilities. If you want to learn more about Sharon Cast, be sure to check out Old B Toll's video. He teaches it a lot better. Yo, question guys, is it me or am I the only person? When I throw the Demon Wind Shuriken, it does no damage, but when it hits me, it takes me all the way across the map and almost kills me. Let me know guys, are you guys like me and always get hit by that stuff? Now, when I ask people who's the strongest person in the whole of Shippen, I hear a lot of things like Madara, Soul Fork, what now? Now the real veterans will tell you it's DMS Kakashi. That short burst of time where he had that DMS, he had so many broken hacks, it was incredible. To be able to travel through a time space and use Shidori at the same time, throw these shurikens, fireballs, bruh. And you know what? Do you know what I did today? I even did a time skip with him and gave him purple lightning too. So we're running Kamui, Kamui Lightning Blade, Fireball Jutsu, Purple Lightning, and Kamui Shuriken. Bruh, this one is my favourite one. I'll change the weapon, but give it a go. Let me know what you think of this build. I think it's going to be great on flag battles. But I'll see you soon. Blessings.